Apple iPods. The world today strives on their production and sales of electronics. Apple iPods are one of the most popular music storage devices, both supplied and demanded. Apple has increased their sales through their promotional ads, commercials, and influential idols. Based on five of Mancu's ten principles of economics, we are able to use iPods to understand the basis of the decisions of society and the government, as well as our own. People face trade-offs. When a consumer buys a $70 to $400 product, they usually give up something that may be a necessity or something that they just want. In many cases, by buying an iPod, customers are to a great extent sacrificing a necessity or another luxury since the price for an iPod is so high. There are different types of iPods, such as the Shuffle, which starts at about $80, and the iTouch, which starts at about $300. Either way, both can be considered expensive depending on the buyer. With these prices in mind, it would be easy to allocate these resources to a necessity such as food, gasoline, light, and so on. If a buyer had $300, he has a choice of either saving it to use it gracefully or using the entire amount to buy such a device. For example, in the short run, his decision may have a negative effect on him by causing him to stay home instead of going out. But in the long run, he has a device that will entertain him and therefore may save him money. The cost of something is what you give up. An Apple iPod can be expensive depending on what you want your iPod to have, such as video, Wi-Fi, etc. Everything we buy deals with trade-offs. Since an iPod is so expensive, the consumer may be giving up more than one thing for this one device. By choosing to buy an iPod, we are deciding to pass up the opportunity to buy other luxuries, which is known as the opportunity cost. For instance, if a consumer decides to buy an iPod instead of shopping at Hollister, then he or she is giving up both a luxury and a need, which is clothing. Through this decision, they are giving up what they consider the next best thing, which means shopping at Hollister is their opportunity cost. Rational people think at the margin. When people think at the margin, they think about both the marginal cost and marginal benefit in buying a product. iPods can be expensive, but along with their cost comes benefits. When a rational person decides to buy an iPod, they will look at the price and realize that it may be high. Although when they research information on this product, they will be informed of its many uses available and decide in the long run that it may be beneficial. In August of 2007, Apple introduced a new model called iTouch. iTouch has a new use available that no other iPod has, which is Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi allows the iPod to use the signal from wireless internet to log on to Safari, YouTube, and iTunes, which are three icons already located on the iTouch screen. Therefore, this can be seen as an example of rational people think at the margin, because the customer looks at the marginal cost, which in this case is high, and the marginal benefit, which is the many uses such as Wi-Fi, and may come to the conclusion that the decision to buy this product is rational. Trade can make everyone better off. One example in this case is Apple's trade of service for music. Apple sells and offers electronics such as computers and iPods. Also, they have their own venue for music for the customers to purchase. Since Apple does not create the music, they must trade their service to make profit for the artist and eventually for themselves as well. For example, when Apple started to introduce iPods in 2004, they used the famous rock band U2 to help in their promotion. U2's famous singer Bono was in many of the ads and was also featured as the only design of a band on the cover of an iPod. Instead of investing into a small company to help increase the demand of iPods, Apple decided that it was best that they instead use the help of a famous band and singer. Apple therefore hired U2 for a total of $1.8 billion. Through hiring U2, they were able to gain a group who has influence over many people and cultures, which means that this may help in the long run for Apple. Trade, therefore, is positive for both Apple and U2. Apple gains a band that can influence many people into buying music from iTunes, and U2 gains $1.8 billion, as well as a permanent feature on the iTunes homepage. Governments can sometimes improve market outcome. Due to illegal downloading of songs into iPods, the Dutch government is placing a piracy tax on iPods in order to stop industries from losing out on royalties. This is known as a lump sum tax, since everyone that purchases an iPod pays the same amount. 
hard drive based music players will be taxed about four dollars and thirty cents per megabyte the price of this new tax would add for example two hundred and fifty eight dollars to the price of a sixty gigabyte ipod due to this tax it will cost less demand from customers therefore apple will suffer losses as well as any other markets that sells mp3s in this case the government is not improving market outcomes for Apple since a tax is being placed on an iPod, which means less people would want to buy it. Within these last few years, the demand for an iPod has shifted to the right of the demand curve because the product has many uses available, which is appealing to the buyer. However, such demands were made possible through promotions, trade, and the buyer's rational thinking.